This ex experiment is about measurement of buffer capacity. As we know, the buffer capacity is the resistance of change in pH for this buffer system upon addition of a strong acid or a strong base. Okay? Uh, in this experiment, the acetate buffer already prepared. We prepared different pHs and seen in this table. We prepare different pHs of uh, acetate buffer. We will measure for them the original pH. Okay. Uh, it should be the same without deviation because uh, nothing added. Then we will take fixed volume of this pH about 20 ml. Okay. And we will add on this buffer <coughs> strong acid or like HCl or strong base then we will measure the pH after addition of the strong acid or the strong base then we will sub subtract the pH after addition from the pH before addition to calculate delta pH we will calculate delta pH two times first after addition of NaOH as seen in the table then after addition of uh, uh, HCl, okay? Uh, then in the, uh, this column, we will calculate buffer capacity by dividing the amount of uh, strong base or the strong acid added by the delta pH calculated. Delta pH, we will take the absolute value, the sign not important because uh, the sign here uh, will change according to the addition. If we add acid, definitely the pH will decrease. And But if we add uh, base, the pH will increase. So the sign not important. We will take the absolute value of delta pH. Then we will <coughs> draw the relationship between the theoretical pH, the first column, and the buffer capacity calculated. Uh, and we will see the beta max according to the drawing or the graph the beta max will achieve at pH when pH to equal pKa pKa uh, when pH equal pKa the maximum buffer capacity or the best resistance in the change in pH okay First of all, we will do other step, which is calibration of medicinal dropper. This is needed for the calculation. To know the volume of one drop, okay, we will do some steps okay, uh, to calibrate the dropper. First of step, we will weigh the empty beaker. This beaker, we will weigh this beaker, or we can uh, zero the balance on it. Okay, we can zero the balance. We will wait until zero zero appear. Then, then we will add. 20 gram, uh, sorry, 20 drops of water. There is technical problem in the balance.
Yes. Now we will add 20 drops of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I will take the way of 20 drops of water, which is 1 point, around 1.1. 1 .1. I will record this in this blank. 1.1 1 .1 gram. This is the weight of 20 drops. I will uh, calculate the volume of a 20 drop. We know the density equal the mass on the volume. So I will convert the weight into volume. Means uh, no, vo the volume equal the uh, mass, the volume, على the density. معناته the volume equal the mass على the density. Row. We will consider the density of water is equal one. That means the mass, uh, <coughs> the mass equal the volume. It means إنه the volume equal one point one um, L. Okay. Now we know the volume of 20 drops. We can uh, calculate the volume of one drop, which is by divided this figure on 20. Volume of one drop of water equal 1.1 ml divided by 20 equal. equal 1.1 1 .1 divided by 20 1 divided by 20 point oh five five ml this is the volume of one drop this step is called calibration of the dropper and this volume will be used later on in our calculation now we will do the next step uh, we prepare the different phs we will work on ph 3.3 and the next ph is done in the same manner okay already we have uh, we prepared acetate buffer of ph 3.3 this and we measure the ph for this ph we take 20 ml, 20 ml. We take 20 ml of this pH. We put them in the speaker and to measure the pH before addition. Okay? Okay? It's about, as seen on the reading of the pH meter, 3.37. I will record this reading here. 3.37. 3.37 this is the pH before addition now in the next column we will uh, add on uh, this pH 20 drops of strong acid like HCl of 0.1 normal HCl it's already prepared where's the HCl this is the HCl 0.1 normal HCl we will add a 20 uh, 12 sorry 12 drops on the 20 ml of pH 3.3 acetate buffer yeah. I will add 12 drops of a strong acid like HCl One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I will measure 
the pH after addition of a strong acid, it's expected to decrease because the strong acid HCl will decrease the pH for this buffer. Now we will record or measure the pH after addition as seen on the device. It is 2.74. I will record the pH, this pH in the table. 2.74. Four. Now we will calculate delta pH by subtracting this pH after addition from the original pH and record this in this column. In this column, sorry. Delta pH after acid addition. It is calculated by subtracting this reading from the previous one and taking the absolute value. As I said, the sign here is, is not important. 3.37 minus 2.74 equal 0.63. Delta, this is delta pH. I will repeat the same step with of the same buffer. But now I will use a strong base like an AOH. The difference between the two steps only that the pH will increase after addition of a strong acid. So I will take a 20 ml and I will put them here. This is other 20 ml of acetate buffer of pH 3.3. And this is the pH, this pH before addition okay now on this solution i will add strong base like an aoh three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now i will measure the ph after addition of this strong base it is expected that to increase the ph it is as seen on the device 3.75, 3.76, 3. Now I will record it here 3.76. Also, I will calculate delta pH from base addition and I will record it here 3.76 minus 3.3 equal minus 3.3. Point three nine. Okay. In the same manner, we will do the other pHs. Okay. I will repeat the, this step by acid addition or base addition on the uh, rest of the pHs in the table, and will write the results in this table. We will give you the results. Then you will continue calculation by. Calculating the buffer capacity, as I will explain in the theoretical part. Then, on a graph paper, we will draw the buffer capacity with the original pH to calculate the maximum buffer capacity, which is called beta max. Thank you.